The cheetah might not be the biggest of the big cats, nor the most ferocious, but it is, without a doubt, the fastest. Not only is it capable of astounding top speeds of more than 60 miles an hour, but it can get up to speed incredibly quickly. With an acceleration that's comparable to that of a high-powered sports car, they're able to go from zero to 60 miles an hour in just three seconds. And it's this incredible acceleration that really gives them the edge. So how do they do it? Just what makes them the fastest animal you'll find on land? Of course, a lot of it is down to the sheer force of their muscles. Short bursts of speed are usually measured in the power generated per kilogram of body weight. Record-breaking sprinter Usain Bolt generates around 25 watts of power per kilo, while a greyhound clocks in at about 60 watts per kilo. But the cheetah's raw power leaves these in the dust, doubling that of the greyhound, reaching 120 watts per kilo of their body weight. And that power is put to good use. The average cheetah weighs just 45 kilos or so, and their long lithe frame with flattened rib cage, small head and skinny legs is streamlined for zipping through the long grass. Inside their bodies, their heart and lungs are oversized and they have enlarged respiratory tracts to get as much oxygen in and around the body as fast as possible. To supply their power for muscles during a run, a cheetah will take up to 150 breaths a minute. And still, it can take them up to 30 minutes to recover from a chase. But the real secret behind their success is their skeleton. They've got long legs that help by acting as levers, turning each powerful muscle contraction into a massive extension, just like the long swing of a golf club from the flick of a wrist. And the thing that really sets them apart from other runners is that incredible curve in their spine. The cheetah's spine is more flexible because the joints between their vertebrae are only loosely articulated, allowing them to move further. This means that the spine can be flexed up first and then down to increase the length and power of their stride. When sprinting, a cheetah uses a galloping gait, similar to a horse or a greyhound at top speed. But the curve in their spine means that the back legs can hit the ground ahead of where the front legs hit, effectively gaining extra distance and loading the body like a spring, ready to explode forwards. With this special skeleton and the power in their legs, a 1.5 metre long cheetah, a third of which is tail, can cover over seven metres in a single stride. A Chase rarely stays in a straight line though, and that's where that extraordinarily long tail comes in. The power in the muscles and the super flexible spine that allow a cheetah to accelerate also help it to change direction pretty quickly too. But the reaction forces on the animal's body when turning risk knocking them out of the race. And the faster you go, the harder it is to turn. Imagine a motorbike trying to turn a sharp corner at 60 miles an hour chances are it would lose traction and skid to the outside. At this speed, a bike can just about manage a 45 degree turn. A cheetah can pivot 50 degrees on a dime. Their long tail might seem to flail uncontrollably when the animal dodges from side to side, but in fact, it's tracing an intricate path to counterbalance the centrifugal forces that could ruin their chase and their day. And if that's not enough, cheetah claws don't retract all the way meaning they're always sticking out a bit, giving them extra purchase on the dusty ground of the savanna to avoid skidding on a turn. So with claws, tail, spine, gait, heart, lungs, perfectly tuned to make a cheetah the ultimate lean speed machine, there's little wonder that it's among the most successful hunters in all of Africa. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe, and let us know if you've got any animal questions racing around in your head in the comments below. See you next time.